Hey, and this is the third part about uh, the mix between uh, fine wool and textile. Det här är tredje delen i fine wool textile. Uh, the wool has not been uh, very well washed. It's got a lot of uh, uh, felting in it and also it has a lot of double cuts uh, that I've been trying to remove but not always successfully. Uh, here's another one. I've been running on the two different sides of the drums. I've been doing the bigger locks on this half and I've been doing the crimpy stuff on this half. So I'll just feed these last two and then we can take a look at the bat and what it turns out to be like. And then the last of these ones. And as always, I brush it down when I'm done. And uh, I will turn it off, but now I'm going to show you one of the safety features on the machine. That as soon as you lift the lid, it breaks the electricity. So så fort du lyfter på locket så uh, bryts strömmen. Så att uh, det är aldrig något problem med hur det kommer att göra när du ska... När du lyfter ut på locket utav misstag. Så. Okej. Okay. Now I've tried to adjust it so you can see the drum as I take off the bat. So I rotate until I find myself with a gap in front of me, which is here. I take the doffer tool. Så du snurrar till du kommer till den här gränsen. Och så tar du din petmoj. So you can see here I have to pull it quite far out before it splits. But on this side, it splits easier. And it's also messier. Because this is the crimpy stuff where there is a lot of debris or dirt or whatever it is in the top tips. Här är det, jag vet inte, det är väldigt hårt ihopkletat i tipparna så jag har ingen större förväntan på att den nullen ska bli något som man kan ha till något annat än att tova. So my expectations on this is very, very low. Uh, I don't expect uh, the short stuff to be good for anything apart from felting. But it might be that the longer locks, the curly ones, uh, will do for spinning as well. So now I've dabbed this down. I can also use the brush that comes with the machine and dab it down. Like so. So, around the drum goes. I get my roller pins. I lock down and tighten, and then I start to unroll. Oh, I thought I'd clean the drum proper, but there was a little bit of white fiber there from a previous run. I think it was a bit of Leicester. Leicester was very nice to run almost as nice as the awesome wool. You can see both of those on uh, other videos that I've made. Let's see if I can keep my arm out of the way. As you can see, hardly anything stays on the drum, she said. Som ni ser så stannar nästan ingenting på trumman och som alltid när jag säger det så fastnar lite grann. Det är griper inte detta. Det är mer än 10 fall av 10 som det händer känns det som. Så so getting close to the end here uh, and when I get to the end I always lift the bat off because if I turn it all the way it's going to be really hard to find where it starts and where it ends so I'm going to unravel this 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 I can and remember that on this side I had the long fibers and on this side I had the short fibers with the very messy tips. So considering what I put in, I'm going to see if I can separate them for us. So this is the one with the longer locks and I think it looks really really nice. Oops, that's a short one. So this one I would be happy to spin. This one on the other hand, if I wanted to have a knobbly yarn, 
I would spin it and then you can get quite nice uh, features out of having these locks in the crimp in but uh, I would say use this for felting or run it one more time så det här är de två olika resultaten de korta fibrerna som ni ser där har det inte kardat ut helt och hållet för att tipparna är, sitter så hårt ihop så att eh, mirakel kan den inte göra men den kan göra väldigt mycket ni ser här att det är helt hoklibbat så att den här eh, skulle jag göra ett garn där jag vill ha lite struktur så hade jag använt det här som det är men jag hade nog valt att antingen filta med det eller köra det en gång till och det här det är det som jag körde med de långa fibrerna och det blev i mitt tycke jättefint direkt. So this was another video from Ekelund Kader uh, illustrating uh, how a mix of textile fine wool uh, can be carded with the drums slightly together. And if you got wool similar to this, you're going to know that this long one is going to be very happy with having this setting and this one you would have to prepare better for the next time. Så det här var det som det blir just nu, en lite längre video än vanligt. Eh, har ni ull som är snarlikt den här, lite mer gobelängi, fun funkar utmärkt med att ha trummorna lite grann ihop. Den här ullen hade jag förberett betydligt mer noggrant innan jag kardade eller till och med låtit bli och karda helt och hållet. So this is it for now. Eh, Drive safely, take care of each other, have a good day and I see you soon. Ha det bra! Hej då!